So on my left hand side I have Tiao, on my right hand side I have Nara Normand, or Normande, depending if you're in, in Brazil. Um, we are at the Venice Film Festival yesterday, Sim Coraciao had its world premiere. Congratulations on Heartless. Um, as you mentioned during the Q&A last night, um, you very much felt compelled to go back to this location. Obviously, it's, it rings true to you. You feel very much at ease at this, at this area. Um, but you said something that really struck a chord with me. You said it's about the people, the young people, and that, that they really touched a, a chord within you guys when you made the short film, which is almost a decade ago. Um, so was this sort of like a forensic experimentation for you guys? What, beyond the creativeness, not only did you want to expand the story, but something that you can't, that's visceral, compelled you guys to come back and say, we gotta, we gotta find a way to really focus on these people. Yeah, for sure, because when we, we did uh, the shot, yes. in, uh, it was a mix of Nara's memories, uh, what she was talking to me, that she remembered about uh, her teenage years and this place, and for me, as a, as a first audience, uh, just uh, hearing that, it was so amazing. And uh, we mixed it with our own ideas, but uh, after that we made the shot and uh, uh, yes, we, we got uh, to know everybody, we got to know their personalities and it, it's, it's exactly this case, we fall in love with everyone and that we didn't, didn't knew for the shot, so I think two years later uh, we talked uh, to each other like we have to do something more, something that's deeper. Yeah. On this place, at the same time I fell in love with uh, the people and the place uh, because we knew yeah. more after shooting. It, it was very powerful the experience of shooting with the kids there and uh, knowing the people and knowing also what's happening with them and how 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 did they go in their lives, you know, after that? Because we were coming back a lot. It's a small village near the village I was born, so it was not exactly you know like, like in the film we should go to many places to, to portray the, the, the film that we wanted. And uh, this uh, village that Eduardo uh, Samano was born and her father, it was so strong for us because we started to go uh, the trip balls with uh, his father and start to hear his stories and uh, their relation. It's, it was so beautiful and we went to her house and met her mother and, and sister, you know, like and every time coming back there. So it was a pretty strong relation and, uh, and the, yes. This idea to okay, let's uh, put these because heartless in the future is really a mix of the personality of uh, Eduarda yes. in person, you know. So we, we tried to create this character that was okay, she has this, and it's heartless, she has his mystery, and after we, we, we go along with the film and discover her life, and it's mixed with life of Eduarda. So the, the father, it's a real father, yeah, that played. <laughs> Um, like in, in the shot, uh, she was uh, very skilled with playing a character that we wrote uh, based on those, those memories and our ideas. And then for, for the feature, it was really this mix. Now it's uh, the, the character that we had created before, getting to know her, and what comes after getting uh, to know her personality that's so captivating. And what I want to say is, for this character, what's really interesting is she has deep emotional scars that are not visible. The actual scar that she does have, it's only uh, accessible to people that she allows in her space. What you guys do at the very onset is that you push this character so far distant from the frame. And sort of says so much about this person is like, she has no days off. She's always hustling, she's always working, she's surviving, she's supporting her family, she's supporting the structure. So when you dive deep into the psychology of the character and you are having, maybe you're having conversations over the years, how did she sort of like inhibit the character? How did she, what did she bring to the character? And, and um, what did you learn from her in that experience? Like, because you guys selected her, you pre-selected her in some magic, movie magic way. You said, that's our, that's our, our, our light into this perspective. I find this a really fascinating character just on paper, but yeah. that experience must have been so enriching just from a very deeply human experience. So how is it like working with her? 
Yeah, and she was at Destin number 001. <laughs> she was the first person to show up uh, when I was doing the casting at uh, the time. And she was like, I met this girl, she's amazing. Like the first day, I w she, she asked the, to, to, to Eduardo, what do you like to do in, in your free time? And she says, uh, fishing with my father. Like, uh, Getting octopus. Getting octopus and the octopus makes this, um, how do you say, the, 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 the ink. And the paint, the ink of the oh, Yes, yes. That in the script. Yes. Because she was talking about the scene yeah. that we were reading, and she was the first one that, and I was like, okay, I think I found Heartless, and I just called John because I was alone with a, a friend helping, and I called John, I think I found Heartless, and all and said, no, but... Uh, yeah, no, let's wait, keep on. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the first day. <laughs> <laughs> the first day and first... Uh, but it was her, you know, like, so we started to... Develop, uh, the strong relation and uh, it was very interesting to... Um, to build this relation among the years with uh, Duda because yes. she's very strong uh, personality yeah. and strong woman. And, uh, yes, yeah, and very brave because she's from this uh, little place uh, and uh, we, we were at the beginning on the shot, she was like 11 or 12, but she was, I think she even lied her age to, to be part of it. <laughs> uh, but, but we asked her, uh, how do you feel about doing those scenes of, with the kids and uh, in sexual initiation? And uh, what people, people maybe here, they are going to comment uh, things. And she was like, I, I don't care. I, I like the film and I want to do it. She was always so brave. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure about that. And she was like, and we said, <laughs> okay, let's wait because I, lots of teenagers say that. Oh, it's my friend too. But it was really real. Mm -hmm. She was, and she's very brave because it's not easy. It's a very small village. She's not from, mm -hmm. and from a family that has financial conditions. So she really like me to to you know to grow. And now she's living in another city. And, it's very interesting to see how she, she grew up. Yeah. And I think we saw her growing up during these ten, 10 years. Mm -hmm. It was very beautiful to see how she was also gaining uh, some power as a black woman because she started in the beginning uh, also with the movements of Brazil that uh, started like uh, against the racism and uh, to strengthen the, the power of black people. And she started to be a very, you know, like uh, proud of. Uh, and that she put that a lot and I wanted to put this in the film also like, okay, heartless, she chose, she can go to the pool and she chose who she is, she's very strong, she knows what to do. At the same time, of course, she has her complexities and, uh, and she doesn't have has her mother and uh, she also has some... She doesn't play the victim. Yes, that's Even it. though she's a victim to so exactly. many unfair things in society, she doesn't play the victim. Yeah, that's what we wanted also. But the, the, didn't want to put, put her eyes a bit, a bit mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. and she helped a lot because she is now this very strong woman and she put this in, to her character. Brazil, learning Brazil on a very minute level, it's such a complex country. And what I like about the synergy, what you guys applied to the young characters is you socially embedded them when they're in scenes of when they're in moments of self-discovery sexually, it's almost like a communal thing. And I thought that was a really fascinating aspect about how you look at youth, how you explore youth, and the whole political backdrop that's, I don't want to say it's, it's omnipresent on some level, because you are talking about class struggles in a really complicated political sphere, and also generational complexities as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's a big, large question, but... Yeah, it, it's crazy because it's a very complex uh, place and the state that we shot on the news, it's uh, very crazy because we had like Color that was the, the president of Brazil that was at the impeachment and uh, all, to, nowadays we have many politicians, the bad, the bad politicians in, in Brazil are from this state. So we wanted also to portray this society that's so uh, uh, complex with this background, so that's why we put also these layers from the politician that was really killed there and I will leave it there yes. my, the place I was, I was born so we wanted to we didn't want to highlight okay, you know, like but we wanted to keep this is something that happened so we, we want to have this complexity also this is the Italians that they have a lot we have a lot of, of, of Italians in the of Brazil uh, that made bad things including uh, being related with these politicians and um, so we wanted to portray, like, give some drops of uh, what is so complex, but not to, 
overplayed yes, yes. The, the main story of the, the teens and yeah. Is it almost like Argentina where they have pockets of Italian people or because I know Brazil has like huge populations like Armenians and yes. It's uh, th there's more an immigration, uh, but uh, but uh, th there was on, on older times, yeah, like, uh, from the war and uh, before that. Uh, but on, on the on this part, on this part of uh, northeast, it's more like a kind of a touristic uh, thing that they get there and get loving with the environment and and stay there. But uh, lots of women exploration also. Yeah. yeah. So it's very complex because uh, we have this, uh, the Italians came out from to São Paulo, in the south southeast of Brazil, but it was the formation, we have many friends that are, have like Italian um, connections, but this is, it's different, like, uh, so they are in the early 90s, uh, end of the 80s, end of the 90s, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to resorts, and uh, I think because it was so cheap also, they, they could uh, be, be like very rich. Yeah, they people. could have a different lifestyle than they would have back at home. Yeah, and, and all those things about sexual exploitation, that there's a lot of stories on the, on the North East. Uh, yeah. with, with, uh, not only Italians, but there, there are yeah. a lot. But we didn't want to, okay, you know, like go deeper in that. Uh, just to, to it's part of the perimeters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, um, it's very homophobic. Brazil, at the same time, it has this freedom. It's very homophobic. Alagoas, for example, it's like a lot of violence. And so, yes, we heard a lot of things, uh, even from the friends of Eduardo, just talking about, about them and to us, how it was difficult for them. And, uh, yeah. yeah, because for us it was important that the group, uh, uh, they wouldn't uh, judge themselves, uh, yeah. their experience, they are like free and natural. But outside of the group, uh, it's, uh, it's a dangerous place, a dangerous world. And, and, uh, this, this, uh, it's what's life in Brazil. It's at the same time, it's a very beautiful, a very beautiful place, a very beautiful kid. But uh, at the same time, it's so violent. Uh, on on the shot, th there was uh, two two actors that they were killed. Actually, you mentioned that during the Q and A, is you had an actor in mind that sort of took over your mental space, and you incorporate yeah. bits and pieces of what that spirit was exactly. and you you he becomes a um i want i want to say an important uh uh figure to alert where you know the wrong not the wrong path but this is this is one option that you don't want to go towards um perhaps if you can discuss a, a little bit about what the, the the representation of what that means to you and why it was such a focal point for you to insert that. I think it's, it's more like a how how uh, the, the neighborhood of uh, a safe space to a, a very dangerous space is because uh, it, it's not only because of criminality. Uh, one of the kids that died in the shot, it was just like a, a fight. And he was going to split a fight in, in this very little place and someone... He was murdered. Yeah. So it, sometimes it's it's like this, and, and uh, also Eduardo she told uh, that uh, not so long ago she was at a party and uh, someone just shot someone uh, in, in her front, like uh, next to her. Yeah, and yeah. for Ogalego's character, he, he had this personality that was so captivating. At the same time, we knew he was robbery and doing all yes, the stuff. Yes, yes, yes. The, 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 the inspired us a lot and we mixed it up for example with the story of one of the other actors that had a, a father that was militar yes very, that he didn't want him to do the film so we, we were mixing the stories not like just one story but to, to create a more complex thing and while we were writing the script uh, uh, the Libu was murdered yeah and um, it was very strong for us and we, we wanted to portray that in the film also the, the reality but it's always shocking from a bystander, a gringo like me, outside of all that, to understand how, how, like you say, you know, there's so much beauty in this country, and the people are so generous and warm, and then there's this. It's just, it's so, it's so. Um, yeah, Very difficult it's to like understand. This. There's a normalcy to something that is not normal, and yeah. it's, it's. It's so, it's so. so. Lots of, for example, we have so much racism in Brazil, and people say, oh, I can't uh, understand why there is. And it's like uh, 
so many black people and mixes, you know, and uh, you have like this because it's the colonization. colonization. Yes. Uh, like many countries that were colonized, that they, they, okay, Europe is, yeah, the white people in the Europe, that's what I want. I, you know, I have um, a German blood and they, they like, uh, they deny what they, you know, they are part yeah. of it. so it's, it's very really, really deep rooted though because uh, even yeah. there is some racism between a, a, a little bit lighter skin towards a darker skin. Yeah, so it's very it's very, very cool. And um, what I think what's interesting right now for Brazilian cinema, in the, I want to say the last decade, there's a whole bunch of small Brazilian indie films. I mean, there's I, I was shocked to learn there's maybe three to four hundred Brazilian films per year. And I'm lucky if I hear about five of them. But of those five, you guys are tackling so many important issues. There's a film at Cannes, a very small film at Cannes. For you guys, you feel a sense of, of course, your artists at the very onset. And this is, this is one way that you can discuss a lot of uh, interesting points. But there's a lot of important points here that, you know, all these future kids, that the next generation of kids, if they have access to this film can help them navigate really complex complicated feelings you feel do you feel as if there's um, a, a devoir can i call it devoir duty. yeah duty to 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 make some of that engages on a level that's beyond just art and and you know your own personal mm -hmm. uh creative needs do you feel as if you need to address things that the previous government would see a film like this he'd disown it yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I think for us it's natural it's, uh, what we want to do and uh, for sure the, the, the political part is important as you said uh, there is a big energy and I think it got kind of uh, repressed now so I, f I think there will be uh, many strong uh, strong films for, for the next years and yeah yeah, absolutely. yeah because what we uh, leave it recently is so strong it's like a, it's impossible to separate and I think people are like familiar yeah. with have lots of friends we are, they are very engaged in different cinemas, so they make different, so different layers of this, this society. Yes. And I think for us, we of course, uh, I'm interested in talking about my feelings, but together with the society, the environment that I live, so I cannot separate uh, the, what I feel and, what, and the society that I live. So it's always together. <clears throat> but uh, uh, for for me, especially, I, I don't want to make things okay. High, really highlight. Uh, I like that uh, things are more complex and uh, just don't say this and this. You know, like uh, to be in, like in between, like crossing every thing. Yes. Everything better than in life uh, yeah, together yeah. with the, all Before the issues. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, and uh, for for the kids, uh, I think for for us, it's like we, we do what we like, what we feel that's important, what we feel that touches us. And, uh, but maybe we did some, some things with uh, the cast, you know, talking with them about some subjects and saying, for example, that uh, okay, we're doing a film that, uh, that uh, says that there, there are homophobic violence, so not, let's not reproduce that with our friend. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. so There's a lot of story uh, between two women, so I am married to, to a woman, so we need to respect that, things that we need to talk about know, sexuality respect. Uh, the girl that is doing like uh, the swimming pool scene, so the boys make some jokes, so they can't make any joke here, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting also the process of the, the kids, you know. Because sometimes it's the taboo, they don't talk in these families, and we need to talk to them because we are making Yes, parents. of course, of course. But they were, they were paying a lot of attention and they were uh, like a. Uh, the best putting, students. Yeah, like putting the effort to have a, a, a good, good result of, a, of the process, it was nice. That's really nice to hear. What's, in, what's fascinating is we did ask the question during the Q&A, is like you kind of fed up of seeing each other, which is a joke obviously, <laughs> but I imagine that, you know, it's like, it's not as if you're paired to get, it's not as if you're a, a boyfriend, girlfriend or a couple like that, you are different creative spirits, so it's very much possible that your next features is is very much solo project. So is this is this tandem something that it exists? It's a possibility um, because it adds further challenges, and maybe we want we want to touch that in the future. Or is it? Do you feel as if it's like okay, well, let's let's spread our own wings and and go into different places? Because I, I don't think you're regionally in the in the same areas, right? You're both in Brazil, but. <coughs> Yes. Like how does the how does the 
How does the creative partnership exist when there's nothing to be created? But it was never, never a, an issue because we created the idea of the, of the film since the short we created together. Yeah, yeah. So that was uh, what makes sense because of the film and not because of uh, an obligation yeah, yes. or a relationship. Uh, uh, so it, it made sense to the short and uh, we had the, this desire to, to make something else in that universe. We didn't know, know at first what, what would be. But we had the, the desire at the same time, and we, when Nara talked to me, I said, I have the same desire. Uh, and then we learned that uh, maybe it's a, a deeper, bigger uh, exploration of this universe. But it was natural for this universe, and we have uh, many projects that, uh, that are Nara solos and uh, mine solos. And we keep uh, talking to each other to like show yeah, drafts. Of course, yes, yes of course. And this, and I said, ah, oh, maybe this. Yeah. And so it's very interesting because uh, we understand each cinema. We have like our difference that we put together and how that's that's. I think it's interesting. And I think for now we have like solo projects, but we are always in in, in touch. Um, you no, know, like a changing. It's very interesting. Yes. To, uh, to bounce ideas off of each other yeah. without necessarily saying, okay, we're gonna work yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, for, for example, I know a little bit of Nara's next project, but it's not natural to, for me to be part of it like uh, it's his own Harkless because it's her project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very personal, it, it, and for, for Harkless, it was really something built uh, together. So. And what's great in, in one sense is like you, your proximity to the material or to the ideas that, that are very close to you. You have distance from that, so you're able to uh, give a different insight into what she's thinking, you know? Because yeah, sometimes yeah, when you're too close yeah. to something, you lose sight. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's fun that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I felt a lot more because after Heartless, uh, Nara did the Guashima show. Yes. And she, she showed me like the scripts and the... Yeah. And, uh, All the process, yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, and... and uh, because it's also based on uh, uh, the loss of a friend that uh, I knew also. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I remember what Nara felt, and uh, when she showed me the film, and I said, uh, "But there's something that you expressed to me that I'm not not seeing the film, and uh, maybe it, it, I think it's strong. It should be in the film." So yeah. she listened. And, uh, and for Tom, I really like because he's very good script writer. I really like the way he writes. So it's very nice to to, to exchange with him like that. Uh, the ideas and the scenes, so I, I like this exchange. Yeah, there's a lot of... I, I really like how you guys embedded um, like allegories and, and, and symbolism and, and how you were very much playful in an area that could have been... It could have been a documentary film, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And given us a lot of the same information. But you guys, you know, it's that world is such a challenging world when you're below 18 is like... How you express yourself, how you think about the world, how you think about your inner feelings. It's, it's, it, I think this is why the film is, is, a, is a little gem, is because of, of that facet. And it's no accident you're wearing blue today, I think. It's very much in, 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 uh, in, in line with uh, sort of like how that film expresses itself. It's, it's, the, the word heart is in there, but it's very much a blue heart. So, um, Muito obrigado, pleasure meeting you, and uh, congratulations on your film, and enjoy traveling with it for a very long time. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.